أبطي ابن عية تنعون به أهل الجنة أن في أن ليس في صدوره مغل ولا حسد أو نزع الله ذلك الغل والحسد فقال سبحانه ممتنا ونزعنا ما في صدورهم من غل إخوانا على سرر متقابلين أقول ما تسمعون وأستغفر الله لي ولكم من كل ذنب فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم All the we to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we praise him, we thank him. Indeed, he is the one who forgives and the one who accepts our repentance. I bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We send our greetings and blessings upon his prophet and messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions, and those that followed in his footsteps and implant, implement his sunnah. Today's topic is the safety of hearts from resentments, aggression, malice, hatred, grudge, and rancor. Pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the actions that would mend or fix your heart, purify the inside, and make you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the best of intentions and clean hearts from any evil character. With a good heart, you worship from saying our actions will be erect according to the book in the sunnah and it will be accepted and if the heart is corrupted so will the actions and it will not be accepted the Prophet ﷺ said in the body is a part if it's fixed the whole body is fixed and if it's corrupted the whole body is corrupted which is your heart Allah looks at the heart the Prophet ﷺ said Allah do not look at your bodies or your faces but he looks at your heart and your actions and on the day of the resurrection those who have a good heart, it will save them. The Prophet ﷺ used to invoke Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he keeps his heart steadfast on his obedience. Take care of your heart from hatred and grudges and struggle yourself to remove any grudges from your heart. And do not let jealousy enter your heart. It is a disease that would weaken your faith in your heart and it lose it is also unhealthy for your heart. Also, it leads to stress, worries, and depression, which leads to great sins. That can cause nerve damage that leads to distress, insomnia, and anger. The Prophet ﷺ was asked, who is the best of people? And who is the best of people? The Prophet ﷺ said, everyone who is pure of heart and sincere in his speech. They said, we know the sincere in his speech, who is pure in heart. The Prophet ﷺ said, the heart that is pious and pure, with no sins, injustice, rancor, or envy in it. The only thing that would ease any hardship or get rid of that worries or make you rest assured is that you live with a good heart, clean, free from all these hates and, and rancors, and do not have any grudges or the venom of jealousy. The worst disease for the heart or nerve damage is a heart that is full of grudge and the chest gets heavier with hate, and he who owns this heart would explode from grudges and anger. The Prophet ﷺ told his companions, a man among the inhabitants of paradise will appear before you, then a man from the Ansar appear. His bear drops, his bear drops water from ablution, and he's holding his slippers with his left hand. Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As, may Allah be pleased with them, followed him and ask this man if he can stay with him for three nights. After three nights, Abdullah did not say to him that I heard the Prophet ﷺ said three times, a man among the inhabitants of paradise will appear before you. You are that man, the three times. I just wanted to stay with you to see what is it that you do that I can do the same like you. But I don't see you do a lot of worship. What is it that the Prophet ﷺ said, you are from those who inhabit in paradise? He said, nothing but what you see. Then when I left, he called me and he said, I do not hold any deceit or jealousy against Muslims for that, for what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them. Abdullah said, this is what made you among the inhabitants of paradise, and we cannot bear it. It was proven to Zayd ibn Aslam, may Allah have mercy on him, that they entered to see Ibn uh, Ibn Ab Abi Dujana, when he was sick, and they say, why is, why is your face glowing or rejoice? He said, nothing proved my actions more than two, two things. I would never talk about anything that does not concern me, 
And the other thing is, my heart is clean towards Muslims. Also, it was narrated by Abu, Abu Abi Darda, may Allah be pleased with him, that he said, should I tell you what is better for you than charity and fasting, reconciliation among people, and beware of hatred? It is a razor, meaning it will shave your deen. Aggression and hate, which is also of the Muslims, who hate his other Muslim brother, just because he desires it. It's a sin that blocks the forgiveness at the times of being forgiven. The Prophet ﷺ said that the gates of heaven open on Mondays and Thursdays. It will be forgiven for every servant who does not associate any deities with Allah, except a man who have a grudge between him and his brother. It was said to them, delay them until they make up. The shaitan also has given up on those protecting their salah, that they would have, uh, he would have them to worship him. But he did not give up to corrupt their faith or lessen their rewards and make them do more sins by instigating between them and put rancor and hate in their hearts so they can distance from each other and plot against each other. And the Prophet ﷺ said that the shaitan has given up on those protecting their salah to worship him in the Arabian Peninsula. But the shaitan did not give up to instigate between them. Rancor has bring down people in the ugliest, most hatred and duriest of slime. Between the parents and their kids and between the brothers and the women and her family, the husband and his wife and among families and so, and so on and everybody that you have encountered, the shaitan will do his best to bring you down. The Prophet ﷺ said, do not hate one another or envy or plot, be the servant of Allah and brotherhood. It is not permissible for a Muslim to abandon his Muslim brother over three nights. And what are the reasons to remove this hate, rancor, and aggression from your heart and replace it with love and compassion and have a free, a free heart that does not hate? Number one is you will be respectable to whoever you speak, all kind of people. Greet the people to the one you know and those you do not know. Ex exchange gifts or help others. Anger management. Be humble because the consequence of anger management will be unregretful. Do not engage in arguments even if the one who's talking is right. Abstain from competition in this dunya and its trouble. This dunya will vanish. Fast three days of each month because fasting will discipline your soul. Remember the consequences of hate in this dunya and in the hereafter. It disconnects you from people in this dunya because you have this heart that is so hard. And from the blessings of paradise, inheritance, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has removed all of this faith from their heart. They So free your heart now so you can be from those who will inherit in the paradise. And brothers and sisters, do not forget your brothers in the woods who are struggling and being attacked every day as we see on, on media. What is that, Malachir?